What's going on guys? My name's Slick. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some PvP builds, tips, and I'm going to break down every single ability that Gunner has and its potential use in PvP. Before we continue with the video, I just want to thank every single person for watching my videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you'd be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment below what you think of the video afterwards. Thanks. And I also want to thank every single Gunner that I've been talking to in the Gunner chat. You know, we've been doing a lot of theory crafting with builds and I am really excited to share this information with you guys. We've got about five builds we're gonna go through here. Uh, these are builds that everyone in the Discord has been using and sharing around right now. Um, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and go over every single ability, um, what it does and some potential uses in PVP. Now this video may be a lot of raw footage. Um, bear with me, uh, PVP is a pretty deep topic, so I want to make sure I hit as much information as I can so you are prepared enough to go into your arenas and start slaying out. We'll, go, we'll start with Speed Shot. Um, I am still using Speed Shot myself. I'm using Epic Speed Shot right now. That is my main damaging ability. All right, let's talk about Sequential Puncture. I am not using Sequential Puncture because I already have a burn. What I mean by burning is it's burning energy. Uh, you need a burner and a builder. So that's Speed Shot Purple is my burner, Precision Shot, uh, this is my builder right here. I don't really see it having a position in PvP right now. Um, there's definitely the potential if you just want to use Blue Speed Shot or any other Speed Shot. Like I think even Common, you do Explosive Speed Shot and you have your Sequential Puncture as your damaging one. Um, you definitely can. I just personally am not using that right now. Electric Shock base you don't even have to spec into this thing just use base electric shock activate tab electric shock and then use your epic speed shot tons of damage it's a fantastic ability like i said you only need base grenade lob um this is very iffy i was trying to work with it since it is a lob you know it can get dashed out of you can put targeting on with the passive or the pervasive gr uh, grenade lob but this just feels clunky if you want to use Grenade Lob, you can go ahead and try it, but I didn't find much success with it if I wasn't using it to chain CC. So Missile. This one, uh, people were using this a lot in the beginning. I haven't seen people using it much now. Um, right now, I don't think it has much of a place in PvP. Uh, it's not worth spending the points on. Snare, I'm always running Snare, even if it's base Snare. Uh, that dash and the bind is lovely. You can you can snare into a lot of other abilities uh, and it's very smooth, feels very fluid. I haven't specced into um, rushed snare, but there's definitely potential there. I just uh, I don't think it's worth 42 points. I really don't. Um, the, the payout is not as good as if you were to use those 42 points towards your epic speed shot or another ability like honing shell right here. Let's go over boot. Uh, I'm currently not using it. It's a good mobility tool. Uh, I think it is good. I just mainly think you use it as an escape tool rather than an engage. I don't think it's worth specking deep into. I really don't. I think that if you're going to spec into anything, just spec into the four so you can dash in and then you can kick them away. If you really want some extra CC, yeah, go ahead and get the lock on. But anything over... If it's not just ones, if you're in twos or threes, it's definitely not worth that. Piercing Mortar. This is a great ability. Um, I definitely think that you can use this in PvP. It definitely has the potential. I've been specking into Piercing Mortar 1. And just to get that fire damage, I was using it after my honing shell. And that was working pretty well. I don't know if it's worth spending 56 points on it is a very heavy burst ability and you do get that smite damage on it so it does have the potential there i'm just not sure if 56 points is worth it right now so let's move forward we got bullet rain uh bullet rain is really nice we've got a lot of people that are using it with silence i don't know if it's worth spending the points to get this but silence is a great thing to have so you might be able to sacrifice some skill points elsewhere. Evasive Fire. I don't see any reason to use this. You could just evade. You're using 4,000 stamina that you could use for something else. I don't think this plays any part in PvE, PvP right now. I think it's strictly PvE. 
Bombardment, really, really good ability. Uh, you can use it to stiffen your opponents. There's a lot of potential here. Um, you can use it to delay. You can use it to stiffen an entire party. I think it's better in something like twos or threes. You don't have to spec into the epic attribute. You can if you have enough points, uh, but even just doing no spec or just the first spec is good enough and will have enough of an effect. Mind planting, I really want to like this ability. I haven't used it much. Uh, it has some potential here. I really think it does. I mean, you've got airborne on it, right? Problem is it's extremely telegraphed unless you're using displacing mine. And right now with our skill point setups, I, it's not worth it. So plasma shot, I don't really see a point in using it in PVP right now. You got sequential fire. Uh, sequential fire, um, a lot of people have been looking into this ability. A lot of people are actually using it for PvE right now. They're using Hurled Sequential. And I will say it does feel pretty nice. Um, it's a little slower for my liking, so I stick with Speed Shot, but it definitely outputs the damage that you're wanting to see. Wolf Yager actually went in and tested Rapid Sequential Fire for me in PvP. He said it feels kind of weird right now, but the damage is there. So we'll continue to test that, but it definitely is something that's viable if you wanted to replace speed shot. Then you got call war turret. I've been using war turret a lot. Uh, it's in my current build. It's just really nice for a zoning tool. Um, it also puts a little bit of uh, thought in your opponent's mind. Like, okay, how much damage am I actually going to take from this thing? Or how do I get behind it? Because if you stand behind your war turret, they cannot target you. They are targeting the war turret first, so they have to move out of position, uh, you, meaning you could waste their mobility or you could waste their evades. Uh, I myself am just using it stock standard. I was trying it with the two charges. Um, I don't believe I'm doing that right now, but the two charges was nice. You know, you had 100% uptime on your turret if you used it properly. Arcane Shot. Um, I used Arcane Shot for a while. Uh, I was trying to use green Arcane Shot. You know the double burst what it allows you to do is since opponents will be stunned if they get hit by it three times that means if you miss a laser or two you have that second time to go back around this also increases your accuracy immensely so it will almost guarantee you to hit as long as your opponent is not invuln don't think it's worth using a rapid arcane shot but I do believe that 25 points is good enough if you're wanting to use this ability. Explosive Leap, beautiful ability. All right, you should you should always have this in your setup. Uh, PVE, PVP, I just think it's amazing. You recover 100 energy on use, you get dodge, and you get your Relentless, so you're immune, immune from CC while you're using it. It's just great. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm currently using it with Opportune Explosive Leap, uh, the dash... If you evade and then use it, you get 50% reduced cooldown. Um, I know I've tried the stealth uh, after explosive leap. It it works. It just feels kind of gimmicky. It's I don't believe it's worth using. Uh, I would just stick with the cooldown. Or if you really want to get into it, this is the juicy one right here. You go forward. It remembers your location for five seconds. And when you go forward, you are getting 100% crit. You dash in, you CC, you destroy them with 100% crit, you get out. Beautiful ability. Um, it's definitely worth spending the 56 points if you have the spare uh, and you can do so. Um, if you don't, then stick with something else that does more damage um, and just go for eight if you can. Combo Shot. I have not personally used this in PvP. If you were going to spec into Combo Shot as your builder, I would say go for blue. Um blue may be worth it i don't know if the other two would be worth it or not but blue might be where you're looking for just because of the fire rate uh that's going to build your energy rather quickly barrage another beautiful ability you should always take barrage as well it gives you iframes invincibility frames um you can just take base barrage and you're golden you can bait so many cooldowns with this thing and it's going to be a tool that you're going to have to learn to master timed mortar timed mortar is a really interesting skill most people when you use this they're not going to notice that the time mortar is on them right so you use your time mortar it increases the damage they're taking and it decreases all barriers 
As soon as it blows up, they are airborne. All right. Once they go airborne, you can combine this with any other CC. You use honing shell, you go into their boot, your grenade lob, whatever you've got. Precision shot, fantastic ability. Um, I'm using this for my builder right now. I'm not even using gray on it. You can use gray on it. Uh, I prefer the lock on, even though the lock on can be wonky sometimes. Um, I don't think it's worth specking into purple in PVP. I would much prefer spending points on something in honing shell. Um, I believe honing shell has way more usage than spending 49 points in precision. Honing shell. Oh my god, this ability, it ignores invincibility, defense, and dodge. It ignores everything. The only thing it doesn't ignore is stealth, because you can't see the person. Use this ability. There is so much benefit into using this ability. You can go with 36, which allows you to lock on from an even further distance. It turns into a lock on skill. The charge up is uh, there though, so that's what you have to take into account. Um, or you go purple. Go purple, it's more close range, but instantly you fire. Beautiful skill, I cannot recommend Honing Shell enough as well. Great skill. Another iframe right here, Call War Drone. Fantastic skill, more iframes. This one gives you the iframe after the ability is cast. So while you're evading, you, you will still have evade, but you won't get your iframes until after the bots are already out. I personally am running green on this. I've tested freeze and it's just really inconsistent. It's not really worth using. Um, it does give you a 15% HP barrier. So if you're just looking for that utility, you can do that, but don't expect to freeze. Don't expect somebody to stand still so you can freeze them with that ray. People are specking into purple on this. Lots of damage. It'll stop people from being able to hide around pillars. And uh, yeah, you'll have some consistent damage going out and people will be really annoyed at you if you take this. Arc Mortar. I have not seen this being used at all in PvP. I believe this is strictly PvE. Even in PvE, it doesn't seem that great. Um, but yeah, such a niche ability. It doesn't really have much use right now in PvP. All right, now we're gonna go over some builds. Uh, this is the build that I'm currently using in PVP. Um, I'm liking it a lot. I'm finding a lot of success with this build right now. Um, got my speed shot for my main damage. I've got electric shot to empower my speed shot whenever I uh, hit my honing shell. Gonna go on to the next build. This one's by Wolf Yager. Uh, he considers this a group PVP build. This is another build by Wolf Yager. Uh, this is his shotgun build, I believe. This is another build by Wolf Yager. Uh, he calls it the chain stun combo. Uh, looks like there's quite a bit of CC in here. All right, now that we've gone over every ability, let's go over some uh, some 1v1 clips that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip of what not to do in PvP. Do not do that. Do not evade shot in. All right. I've 1v1 this guy many times. I was trying to do a big brain super aggro play. Um, but do not evade shot in, especially because you see my stamina. I didn't evade beforehand. So the rune that I'm taking or sorry, the skill attribute that I'm taking to reduce the cooldown by 50 percent. I didn't even use it. My Q is on a 22 second cooldown. That's what cost me the match here. Let's go ahead and watch the rest. Now right here, uh, I was testing a new build, so I wasn't familiar with grenade lob just yet. I totally forgot I had it on my hotbar. Another tip. Be aware of what your skills are, all right? Get used to those cooldowns. If I would have tossed grenade right behind that pillar, and then if I 180'd and used my uh, snare, I could have killed them easy. As you saw, 
very, very close, but results are results. All right, and that was a loss. Um, I hope there's some things that you can take away from that clip, though. All right, let's go over a match where everything goes right. Whenever I did this and I saw him charging up a spell, I knew something was coming. So I got that toning shot ready and I was able to connect as he iframe dashed in to try to hit his big spell. Pay attention to that little yellow bar. You'll catch some people off guard and ruin their day. All right, another match. This is against an elementalist. Place my turret, got my ground, sticking behind my turret so she can't target me very well. I dashed there thinking that she was gonna try to do something funky. I noticed that she's trying to hide behind this pillar, so I'm going to go ahead and drop another turret so I can block off where she can hide. Right there, I did predict that she was going to try to go in, so I started charging that homing missile. She almost canceled me, so be careful if you're charging homing missile that close. That was a little mistake right there. The only thing that I would improve here is, as I press tab, I would have pressed R a little earlier. And also, dashing in right there is not good. Um, I almost got my iframe off, but... I, you clearly see, like, you don't want to be in someone's face like that, right? They can easily hit that CC on you and cancel things. I could have died there if the Elementalist um, had her cooldowns. Let's go over a match against the Slayer. Um, don't let this match fool you. Slayer matchups are pretty hard, at least for me. Um, so he was trying to hit a knock up there. Uh, looks like he canceled it. So that ability right there, the one with the blades going in, that ability will send blades out and it'll pull you towards the Slayer. So make sure you're using an evade if you're inside of that. You don't have to iframe it, but make sure you evade it or you will get pulled in. You're going to get slowed and then he'll just CC you um, or burst you down. So right there, he was trying to do lifesteal. Uh, you saw that I evaded out. You want to evade out of that. Um, if they keep doing that, there's an ability that they can get on that um, where the more damage they take, the more that they heal um, while they're doing that. So make sure you get out of that. Force them to stop gaining their life back. Now, when you're doing 2v2s and 3v3s, you're going to need to use your abilities more sparingly. You can also swap around a lot of things. Uh, the build that I use is primarily what I'm using for 1v1s. Um, it's very effective in 1v1s, especially the only reason I'm taking the epic honing missile is because of 1v1s. In 2v2s, you can take the blue uh, to get the targeted um, 24 meters. Uh, but in 1v1, I feel like the purple is just the way to go. PvP is so diverse in this game, just like any other MMO. So expect there to be other builds out there that we haven't even discovered yet. Especially ones that approach the 200 skill point area. We're sitting about 150 right now. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this video. I know it was a long one. There was a lot to cover. There's still a lot to cover. I'm still not really fully satisfied with this video, but I want to get something out for you guys. And I hope that it can help you in any way. I want to send a special thank you out to Decadence, Wolf Yager, Misfit, Crowny, Radax, Fell, Zath, and any other gunner that's been active in the chat. Thank you guys so much for working with me, and I'm glad that we could put together some builds to help everyone else in the gunner class. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of the builds that we discussed in this video today in the description below for your viewing pleasure. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe, um, like the video, and as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and any questions in the comment section. Happy grinding on Elyon, guys. Peace.